I wanted to run a test on CSG, Certified Sports Guarantee, a new grading company, um, one year old roughly. And I used to use Beckett a lot, and I still do. But I wanted to see if I just threw cards there randomly, uh, not pre-qualified, not pre-screened, a mixture of modern and vintage um, stuff, how it would turn out. So I submitted a thousand, about a thousand cards. And I'm focusing right now to show the Wayne Gretzky collection. They're mainly junk, so it's not like the rookie cards or high-end stuff because I didn't want to invest in getting those cards graded. Not that I have them, but um, if I did have some of them, um, uh, just getting those graded and being disappointed. So I wanted to see with the lower end stuff, the stuff from the late 80s, early 90s. So I did 164 cards and a couple of them, as you can see, didn't even grade high because um, there's some marking right here. So I, I just threw together a complete run of Gretzky cards that I had in a monster box. Well protected, penny sleeves, fresh out of pack, not dog-eared. Um, held when I was collecting in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, just to see how well-kept cards would grade. So I got a five, a couple of sevens here, 5.5. So anything under a 7.5, which also includes these right here, um, 5% of my cards came in under uh, 7.5 7 or under. Not too bad because, again, I didn't um, um, pre-qualify any of my green them. Then it goes to the grade 8. 20 out of 164 got graded in 8. So these are these um, way overprinted uh, 1990 score all-star type of cards. Um, you'll see all of them there. So 12% came at an 8. And to me, an 8 is... If you're going to grade a card, a modern card, and it comes in an 8, you might as well have it raw. Because uh, the cost of grading and everything isn't really worth uh, that much. And these cards roughly cost about $8 each to grade. No subgrades. I didn't want to um, go too deep into these for subgrades. I just want to see how the overall number went. So 12% went um, into the 8 category. Then 8.5, I had 64, which is 39%, almost 40%, came in at a um, 8.5. And uh, you know, again, a lot of these scorecards came direct from the factory um, sets uh, into penny sleeves and just um, Transport there, as you can see, most of these are really just dollar caliber cards. I mean, it was, in one breath, it was kind of stupid to um, get them graded because the cost of grading was actually worth more than the card itself. But at the same time, in this current 2021 market, um, graded cards often carry a premium, and people want them graded and are willing to pay more than raw, much like with comic books. So again, these are all these like really um, mediocre cards. So those are the eights. 8.5, oh yeah, those are the 8.5s. So 8.5s, 64 out of 164, 39% came in there. Nines, I got um, 66. So almost the same as 8.5, it's like 40% came in the six. I got that stack there. This deck, I'm not even showing the cards because they're so, um, a lot of duplicates and lackluster cards. There's not one card in here that's worth um, more than a dollar raw, I believe, because you can find them pretty easily at home, online, conventions, and so forth. So, there's more nines here. more nine. See, I'm trying to keep this under six minutes. Some nines here. So as a whole, the 8.5 and nines 
So basically, these two grades here, the near mint to mint plus to mint range, comprised 80% of the submission. Then nine fives. I had one, two, three, four, five nine fives, which are gem mint. <clears throat> As 3% of the submissions came in at a nine five. And none of these cards are really great. I mean, this is probably the best card here because it's a stat back versus these other ones. Actually, this one might be worth something. It was a video game insert card that came in a box set. But if you bought the video game from EA Sports in 1994, uh, you got this card. So this one might actually be worth something because it's no one got this graded. I don't think it's kind of rare, but not really that great. So the bottom line is 80... 80% came in, 8, 5 to 9. And if you go 8 to 9, then 92% came in. And that was sort of good and bad. I was expecting a little bit a little bit more 9s where they were 8, 5s. Because I'm accustomed to, uh, to submitting the Beckett. And I was expecting a little bit more 9, 5s. Or a lot more 9, 5s. Um, because these are... they. Uh, but I think a lot of them may have been the... Um, penalties of the centering more than anything else. And that's not a condition problem, it's an aesthetic problem, in my opinion. So, overall, sorry, I'm looking down at, the, at my stat sheet. Um, between eight and nine, about 92%. And my opinion on CSG, Certified Sports Guarantee, I feel that they grade tight, which is good from a long-term perspective, as far as not being like the um, GIA pros and all the late 90s, early 2000 graders who would give everything a gem mint 10 and even try to notch it up and uh, give it an 11 maybe. But they um, were just appeasing collectors who wanted high grades, so they gave them what they wanted. And at the end of the day, people realized there was no substantiation behind it, no clout, no reputation. No integrity. So I feel that S, um, SCG is going the right way. They may be a little stricter than PSA and um, BGS and most certainly that new one HGA, I, A, I believe. Um, so if you see a 8.5 you may think it could cross over to a 9 in PSA or a 9 in um, back at BGS. Maybe so, maybe not. I, kind of like to do a crossover test and just submit a bunch of these cards to um, Beckett and PSA and and see what they cross over at, and HGA too, and SGC, and see. But it looks like um, Certified Sports Guarantee is building a reputation having um, uh, stricter grading, nice cases. Um, in the long run, it'll translate into just like how people say, a Beckett 9.5 is equal to a PSA 10. So, and a um, PSA 9 is better than a BGS 9. So in, in that language, maybe um, that middle layer of 8s, eight, 8s eight and a half to, and 9s are equal to a half point greater compared to a Beckett. Um, I don't know. So we'll soon see. So that is the collection of Wayne Gretzky cards. I also submitted these hologram cards and they were 50-50, eight and eight fives, no nines, which is sort of odd. I mean, they're stickers, sticker backs, but they're not, um, they weren't handled, there weren't any fingerprints. They went straight from the packs into penny sleeves and stored for the last 30 years, 20, 30, 30 years actually. So I was actually really surprised I got no nines there and a lot of eights, but again, that may speak positively in the long run of um, SGC, S, I mean CSG, Certified Sports Guarantee. So that's the end of the video, and I'm going to probably run down some of my other cards. It's just too difficult to um, focus on everything without it becoming a long, boring video. This is already 10 minutes. So enjoy, and that's my opinion. I think thumbs up for SCG, I mean, CSG, I need to get that right, S, CSG, Certified Sports Guarantee.